Hello there guys and welcome back to Sleeping Dogs. Let's see if I can get out of my phone. And if you remember at the end of the last video we picked up the next case file and completed that and it has given us a second lead. So I said what we were going to do was go and do that second lead first then probably do the Sandra um, date mission. So let's make sure we're on the right one. Kidnap a lead. There we go. I didn't, I've, I've actually recorded this video instantly after recording the previous one, so I haven't had a chance to look up and double check about that jade statue. I'm sure it's impossible to miss it. I think when there's jade statues that you can only get to as part of the storyline, you're pretty much forced to, you know, sort of run over them. It's not something you can accidentally miss and then not be able to get back to it because that'd be kind of dumb. Collectibles that only have... I, I do. There are games that do this and it really annoys me. When you have a game that has collectibles and you come across a collectible that can only be picked up at a certain point and there's no way to go back and redo it or redo that part of the level and you've missed the collectible and that's it. That really annoys me. But we shall see. Dress like a high roller and get suited. I thought I was dressed like a high roller. Fine. Oh, oh, very suave. Yes, we'll be keeping that. And and now we're going to the dock. You know what this is going to be, don't you? It's gonna, you, you remember that um, little Mahjong poker mini game that I showed you? And I says, I'm probably going to end up having to come back here at some point for a mission. This is what it's going to be, isn't it? It's, it's, it's almost obvious. That's what it's going to be. We're going to go out to the dock. We're going to get a boat. And we're going to go out to that flipping offshore platform again. Oh dear. Oh well. If it's got to be done, it's got to be done. The question is how do... Ah yes, there's the turning. I was going to say, how do we get there? Looks like we are he Ooh, heading over there. That was a bit of pro skill driving, wasn't it? Get a boat. Yes, of course. What's wrong with you? Bloody moron. Okay. Get a boat. Do I really want to jump in the water? Probably not. Let's go around. And down. Where? Oh, ah, there we go. There's a boat. That'll do. I see something flashing, actually. What is it? Yeah, that's a lockbox. Well, I'm stood next to it. There's another one over there. And... Can I get to that easily? I knew it wasn't going to be long before I broke my promise of saying, yeah, I'm not going to get distracted by lockboxes and drugs busts and security cameras and all that kind of stuff. But there again, as I said, if I end up with one that's right next to me, I might as well pick it up. There's no point in avoiding it if, if they're close to me. Um, now there's a health shrine over there as well. And I that is flashing, which means we haven't got that health shrine, so that we are definitely going to go for. So, sorry, uh, there's a boat over there as well. So what I'm going to do is get this lockbox, wherever the hell it is, run over to that health shrine. Can I get up here? Yeah, because I can't actually see where the lockbox is. It must be down... Yeah, there's the lockbox. So we're going to get the lockbox, go and get that health shrine, jump in the boat over there, job done. We've got two lockboxes and a health shrine out of it. Can't grumble at that. Some more cash. Pretty much paid for the car that we bought now. So... We're doing very well on these health shrines. Might as well go and get them all. Running seems so slow after you've been driving around for so long. Um, where is it? It's up there. Can we get up there? Nope, got to go round. I hate it when you're on foot as well and you kind of uh, take a wrong turning. Let's take a while to backtrack. But we'll be taking that boat shortly. Conveniently placed ramp for a car abandonment that we had to do in the in one of the previous videos. So there's one more health shrine to find in this area, and I think there's only three more health shrines left in the entire game, and we've got them all. I could probably find them on the minimap if I could be bothered to look for them. Right, if I want that boat, I'm going to have to swim out for it, aren't I? It's, there's no question about that, so let's go swim out to it. Luckily, all of the boats in Hong Kong are abandoned and they're uh, very easy to steal. Okay, let's just have a quick look on the map. Uh, lots of boats around there, actually. 
Um, so we've got three more. Well, they don't show on here, do they? Which is a real pain in the ass. But um, right control legend. Yeah, they don't. They only show on the mini map. But there's, there's there's three more of those health shrines around. I guess we'll find them at some point. Okay, I've got a boat. Go to the gambling barge, of course. It was bound to be, wasn't it? At least this boat isn't quite as slow as the other one. Well, it is. I mean, it's 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 kind of a bit of an aircraft carrier. It, it, it's very very difficult to steer, but we will get there. I'm not sure how I knew there was going to be a mission out here. I'm guessing it was just kind of sixth sense because I haven't got this far in the game before, so I was literally just guessing at it. But I suppose it stands to reason if you're going to go through the effort of building an offshore gambling barge, you're not going to do it just for the sake of one crappy little mini game. Although there was a jade statue out there, so I guess even if I hadn't have come out just to do the mini game, I would have found it as part of the storyline. I guess that's the point, is every jade statue we've come across has pretty much been uh, waved in our face as we've gone around. They've not been um, necessarily hidden like the lockboxes are and the cameras and things like that. So I really should have picked a faster boat, really. Hopefully there'll be a speedboat there which we can grab on the way back. Now I believe it's F to dock a boat doesn't always work that well but I'm going to give it my best hopefully if I can get alongside the dock and dock there's already a boat there anyway but hopefully if I can Ooh, no hold F to dock right I'm, I'm holding F see me holding F can you tell that I'm holding F maybe we need to get a bit closer to the actual dock it does eventually get you in the right place. Right, screw it. I'm just going to jump in the water and swim. Because you know what? It's quicker. But we're just going to jump up here. And not only did we manage to break physics in a previous game, but we can also dry our suit within about 30 seconds just by running. We're still a little bit damp. It'll dry out. Almost dry already. Good evening, sir. How you doing? Hey, so how does a man get to the highest stakes table? You talk to me. <laughs> well, I'm feeling especially lucky today. You're always welcome here. Now, while my suit's drying out, there's a lockbox around here somewhere. Yes, I know, but it's right in front of me. Get it? Oh, I was just going to say it's not even got a lock, and it has. I've got a feeling the company that makes these combination locks and also the company that makes the security for the CCTV cameras should probably really be going out of business about now. Excuse me, miss. Where can I find the high stakes table? Just over there. That's Mr. Yar's domain. Introduce yourself to Mr. Yar. This is weak tea, motherfucker. Oh, weak him. Tea. We remember you. <laughs> You ladies ready to lose your money? What? Who are you? I don't know you. Get lost. Mr. Yar, is it? Is that the way you talk to Sun on Yi? I don't care about no Sun on Yi. Only money talks at this table. Now let's get the conversation going. Have a seat. I enjoy watching people lose. <sighs> now, is it going to be that same mini game? Which we've already had a little bit of practice. Apparently, it is. Feel lucky? Let's go for the max bet. We've got the money to piss away. Let's just see what happens. Um, well, we need a three. Now, do I try and go with the pair? Given the fact that he already has a straight. I need a straight as well. And he's going to have high straight anyway, which is a real pain. Maybe I'm, oh, I'm supposed to lose, aren't I? Oh, well, we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Am I supposed to lose to him? Or am I supposed to win? I don't know. Well, he's beaten me anyway. 
too bad. Am I just supposed to win? I'm not sure. I have to check the mission in a minute. Can I check the mission now? No. Great. Okay, got a pair. Do I stick with the pair? Because he's got a pair as well. Um, hmm. Okay, let's play the same game he's doing. He's kept the pair and he's discarded all of the crap. So let's do that. Okay, now he has a high pair and he's discarded the rest. I've got three of a kind. There's a potential here to get a full house. Now, he's got two fives, so logic would dictate I've got more chance of getting a six. So let's go for that. Right, I do actually have a full house. Shit. Right, let me just leave the table. No, that's telling me to cancel. Okay, let's play again. I'm sure there must be a point to what I'm doing here. I just haven't figured it out yet. Uh, okay, he's got three of a kind. So let us get rid of the low stuff and keep the pair of sixes. Hopefully we might get something useful to go with them. Right, he's still got three of... I've got a full house again. I'm going to stick with that, I think. And I win again. <laughs> Let's make it interesting. What are you bet against a hot Russian blonde? A blonde? Yeah. Got this girl over at K-Bar. Very hot. And she's, uh, you might say, in my debt. You win this hand, I deliver her to you. You crazy? You want a better girl? What am I going to do with her if I win her? Uh, she's illegal, no papers. You can do anything you want with her. Oh, yeah? All right, brother. K-Bar has the hottest girls in the city, and I could use another blonde. Besides, I'm feeling lucky. Okay. You bet, Ileana. Attempt to lose the next hand. There'll be no attempt here. It'll be very, very easy. Right, what have I got? Three of a kind. Let's bet away two of them. <laughs> oh. Right, he's got three of a kind. I've got a pair. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> if it's not obvious to him that I'm trying to throw the game, he must be a complete and utter idiot. Right, he's got three of a kind, and I've got high card. Too Brilliant. bad for you. Bring the girl to the docks at Central. Come play again. Maybe next time I win twins. Okay. At least we got that figured out. So, leave the gambling then. Call Liliana. Liliana, it's way. Did you find her? Not yet, but I found a man who may have her. What are you going to do next? I arranged for him to take another girl. I'll follow him and see if he leads us to Katushka. That other girl, you're talking about me, aren't you? Yes. That wasn't so nice of him to let her in on the plan. Okay. Well, that's technically a mission done. That's some more cop experience again. Full amount, because we didn't crash into anything or kill anybody. That's good. Well, we're nearly at level 9, so it's not too bad. So, what have we got to do next? Let's have a look. So, we've got Kidnapper Lead 3. Which we could probably get straight on and do that. It's probably what we should be doing. So let us get down and take the boat that isn't the really slow one. What? Way to go. Way to go, way. Are you in? You happy? Good. Right, so. How far away are we from the other lead? A bazillion miles away. Wonderful. And I'm not even sure what's up on this island, actually. Um, and there's a favour to do for somebody out there. I know there's another um, health shrine out here as well that I haven't been able to get to. But no clue what's on half of these islands. Favour out here. Oh, there's another gambling den. That's random. Um, so we've got to get all the way over here. So I think what I might do is head over to this, this island. Can you get even get over to that island? There's probably nothing on it, actually. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing on there. So I've literally got to go all the way around to get to there. Okay, we can manage that, I think. 
will probably, if I'm perfectly honest, end up going on the next video because I don't think I'm going to have a tremendous amount of time. The police over there, so be careful. I don't think there's a speed limit. I think as long as I don't do anything too dodgy, like shoot at them, I should be quite happy. There's a boat randomly popping in. Got a little fair object popping on open world games like this. Saying that, I mean, you know, my PC isn't the most highly spec machine at the moment. I mean, certainly the processor and the RAM is uh, top whack, but the uh, graphics card is a little bit dated now. But even though since this game was originally released, they... Some guys jump in the water there. Since this game was originally released, they released a high-resolution texture pack, and this is the game with the high-res texture pack. And it actually runs very well with that. Now, the reason I've just brought you here, um, just to show you this, this is the entrance to one of the uh, drugs busts. There are a couple that you can only get to via boat or swimming. Um, to do this one, it definitely, definitely requires um, some shooting. I might actually have a go at that. Uh, and the reason I say that is there is a um, health shrine up there that I'd very much like to get. I haven't really got a lot of time to do anything else at the moment. And you can get some good money doing this. There's also another pistol there, which we already kind of have. Now, you can sneak up on these guys, I think. I think we've kind of been spotted. So, we're not too bad because we've got good health at the moment. We've got a decent amount of ammo. They do try and flank you. So you've got to be fairly careful. Just watching the guys trying to come around to the right hand side. But this is what I was saying, you get to some of the drugs busts, like this one, and they're difficult to the point of people sneaking up behind you, which is rather rude. How are you not dead? Right, how much health have I got? Not nearly as much as I would like to have. Right, I only need two more thugs anyway. Not got the greatest amount of ammo left either. Wow. <laughs> I actually amazed myself that I got away with that. Everybody else should disappear. They should leave me the hell alone. Right. Thugs. Th thugs? What are thugs? Thugs defeated. I haven't got a lot of ammo for this gun, actually. So what I should probably do is swap it for the tactical. Okay. So let's go and hack the camera. Uh, the panel is where now? There's usually a lockbox in here as well somewhere. And then we're also going to go and try and get that health shrine. And then on the next video, we will go and do the third case file, which I think is either the end or the penultimate mission to the case files. Could be wrong, though. Okay, so we know number one is in there somewhere, but two, uh, zero, two, and three are not. We've got six in the right place. That means that must be number one. Five is in here somewhere. So that's got to be eight or nine. There we go. And then use the surveillance system, which we will do at a future point. Now, can we actually see that they all came out of this room? There's actually nothing here. Uh, let's put our gun away. Don't think we're going to need it. Uh, doesn't look like there is a lockbox in here, actually, which is weird. There usually is. But anyway, that's that done. We can get out of here now. We can take their boat. I've got to try and find my way to that, um, yeah, this thing steers like an aircraft carrier as well. How you are ever meant to get out of here at speed in this thing, I have no idea. It's an absolutely colossal barge. So, I need to try and find a way to get up there. So, what I'm going to do... Very quickly, we've got a few minutes left, let's find our way up. We'll do that, and then we'll call it there. And on the next video, we'll carry on with this mission. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to find anywhere close to dock. 
which is a real pain in the hoop. Which means I'm going to probably end up having to run miles around to get... Ah, this looks like... Is that a dock? No. Ah, there's one further around here, though. There we go. And this is quite significant, because it means we've, we've, we'll then only have... Let's get out of there, actually. Just just jump out. Wait. It doesn't even have any brakes. There we go. Let's get over there. And it's quite significant, because then I think we'll only have two health shrines left to get. And I know where one of them is, which, again, you have to get to via boat. So let's go see if we can get this one. How tricky it is to get to it. What is going on here? Some sort of monk guy signing autographs? Um, okay. Maybe that's something to do with DLC or one of the storylines. It seems a bit random, it just being there. Let's see if we can get over to that sh health shrine. I can see it on the mini-map, which is good. Yes, it'll be a nice little landmark if we actually complete something. And I can say, well, we, we at least we've got all the health shrines, even if we missed half of the other stuff. Suit's still a bit bloody and wet. And this police officer is not going to care one little crap about it. Although it is drying out, to be fair. There it is. It's so close. It's so close. need to get some health back as well. So that's all of the health shrines found in Central. I need two more for the next health upgrade and that should put me up to like 200% health which will then mean I have max health which should then mean in fact actually if I look at the map and then hit Q for collectibles health shrines collected 48 or 50 yep so I definitely only have two more to go. Ah there we go they're now appearing on the map. One of them is here so I've got to go and get that one via boat, but there's no way out from this island, so I'm going to have to jump in the water from down here at some point. The other one, I don't actually know where it is. I've got all the ones in Central, and I've got all the ones in North Point, I think, so it's got to be either in Aberdeen or in um, Kennedy Town. Ah, it's there. So... Where was that? Is that where our... No, our apartment's not there, is it? Is that where our apartment... That's the cemetery. There's one at the back of the cemetery I missed. So I'm going to have to go back there. We haven't been to Two Chin's house yet. So that's where one of the jade statues is. There's two more jade statues to find. So what is... So I'm not bothered about the lockboxes, cameras and stuff. What I want... That health shrine at the cemetery. That health shrine outside the back of that island which I'm going to have to get a boat to go around and get that and that I can drive to that we're going to get to as part of the story I am assuming and then there is that other jade statue which is there which isn't where I was is it because I was actually um, here behind K-Bar I wasn't all the way over here so we will get that at some point probably so what I might do, just because it's really boring and you guys probably won't want to watch it because I'm going to have to get a boat and go all the flipping way around the outside, I might grab a boat and just um, go around here and grab that one. And then all we'll have is the final one left. So thanks for watching, guys. And I have been in Stable Voltage. This has been Sleeping Dogs, as always, in a very bloody and wet suit. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.